Hello, hello, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at what is this thing underneath, but never mind. Okay, let's do this. So the question I had today was, um, the biggest thing for me right now is meeting... I'm reading from... Uh, my message. The biggest thing for me right now is meeting and connecting with people who would be the high level clients that I want to have. Um, and um, so that's the challenge. So how do you meet those high level clients? Right. And she says the once I meet people, I develop relationships and things flow. But uh, I understand the question is like, where are they? <laughs> the, the high level clients. Right. I don't know who's watching, guys. Great you here. So um, so I did think about it. So I think whenever we are asking a question, like the biggest question most coaches have is where do I, uh, like how do I get leads? Like literally people are uh, thinking that they don't have enough leads, right? So they think they need more marketing. But... The biggest thing I fix for my clients when they are marketing and looking for leads is really the level of clients they're getting from the marketing. And so it's not so much about how much marketing do you do or where do you post or what time do you post? That's really not important. But what is important is what are you really talking about? Because the... High level clients are listening to the problems that you can solve for them, not just any other problems or, or the knowledge you have about this or that or an issue. They're looking, are you specifically working with the issues that they would have, right? And so the topic of conversation on your marketing, this is the one that will attract the right people to you, right? And then you don't need that much marketing done. For majority of my clients who I've trained to sell and they had sold um, their coaching programs for $100,000, $100,000, right? So that's a big amount going from just $100 per hour. That's how they started out as a coach. And so I've taken them there. So now it's 100,000 per, um, not per hour, but per program. But the program is very minimal. There's very minimal hours in that program. So it's very interesting. And I tell you that all of the people that I've trained to do that were not business coaches. Maybe that's something that you want to really, like, needs to sink in. Honestly, the more you talk about money, the more you talk about making somebody money, the more it's, it's all about money, the less of the, you know, let's say celebrity clients. Somebody asked me actually another day, you know, how do you, how did I work with celebrity clients? So I explained. So, and what kind of issues was I solving for them? I certainly was not coaching them on business because, you know, if you're talking about elite clientele and celebrities, so they are making way, way, way more money than me. Right? I'm not qualified to teach them anything about business. But the problems I was solving for them was really something that life coaches do. Right, So that's what I was doing with them. Right, So that is probably would be my shortest, most effective answer here. Because I understand that you know, it could feel like, okay, I, I just need a lot of people. I need more marketing. I need to speak to more people, especially um, this um, lady thinks that it's about relationships, that you have to have relationships with all of those people. <laughs> For a lot of us who would be working on that very, very high level, we are maybe on the deeper side, maybe more on the introversive side. We are more you know, because that's what makes us so valuable to people who have serious, deep problems. And they want somebody who really had been thinking a lot about it, right? Who is that kind of person who's done research, who's done, who has experience. So, and unless you are coaching somebody on, you know, how to be more extroverted, for example, then it's fine. Maybe then you would be a great coach. 
for them and you want to demonstrate demonstrate how many relationships you have and how good you are at that but i'm telling you on that very high level when people want to work one-on-one -on -one with you at um you know hundred thousand dollar per hour this you know those kind of programs and those kind of fees they are looking for something like specific like you want to be solving that very specific problem and you need to really know about it you need to talk about it and those problems would be the higher level problems as well right so they're not going to be financial problems right so that's the that's the answer i mean very short answer Meaning that, yes, maybe if you are very, very, there's a, a few um, extremely high level elite business coaches out there. So, of course, that's different promises that they make and they could be charging a million dollars uh, for their programs. That's valid because they're making multiple millions of dollars for their clients. So it's fair. But if you're not working or not looking to work at that level, uh, because maybe you don't have that expertise, right? So that's really what I'm talking about. Like, if you have expertise, then you wouldn't be asking me that question, right? About Because you are surrounded by people who are also doing that. But if your biggest problem is to up-level yourself, right? And speak to the right people. So what you begin with is picking the right topic of your conversation on uh, online your, the, or, or on stages or wherever you go right and as you start talking about different things things that your clients are looking for you will start seeing them coming to you right so this is how it happens and um yes so my advice would be always screen your personal marketing right now like what are you talking about over there right what is it all about and then elevate. Like anybody who's working with me, they know the word when I say elevate, elevate. And they're like, oh my gosh, elevate. I'm, you know, I thought I'm doing, you know, like this is the best I can do. And I'm showing them, no, you can elevate further, right? And elevate means deepening the conversation. Maybe it's the same topic, but you're deepening the conversation. And um, sometimes you are, you might be, actually going to be talking about different topics as well that that's what i'm noticing as well sometimes you just have to actually test something has to click and um i'm always of course encouraging everybody to be authentic to what's going on with them so current so this is when i'm talking about working at the edge of your limitations this is what i invite my coaches to do the ones i train if you really want to be that kind of world-class uh, and in high demand coach, what you want is to raise your own standards about yourself. Like, what are you all about, right? Because ultimately, this is what people want. They want you at that level, right? The, the elite clientele, they want to work specifically with you, not just that they just searching for another want to be a type of a coach slash therapist or, or whatever spiritual healer they, they are looking for you right that's why you know that's why they would be working with you not because you are replaceable not because there's another one of you there and that means that you yourself have to be able to stretch yourself and grow yourself to the point that you become interesting not just to other people, but to yourself. Like you have that energy about you. You have that um, edge about you where you are yourself walking that that line, that very fine line between like your expertise and reaching into something un, uh, that is unknown, something that is a challenge for you. And when you are meeting people like that who are basically alive, I call them people who are alive. They didn't just retire they didn't just kind of like keep talking about the same thing it's been you know 50 years they're still talking about this and i'm not saying that you can't be faithful to your topic and to your gift because you probably i think it's consistency is amazing and you go deeper and deeper and deeper with it but are you stretching yourself to the point where you are working uh, even within your favorite topic um 
but leaning into something that is going to grow you, right? I just had a conversation actually with somebody about relationships and um, discussing that she met somebody and they said, uh, why would be this uh, potential partner good match? I said, because they will stretch you. They are challenging you. This is not something where you can look down on them, manipulate them, have control over that person and feel, okay, this is great. No, you're meeting a partner that is a great, um, great partner for the game called life, right? They are stretching you. They are challenging you. They are making you to, to be better than you are right now. So th those, those are like the best partners, right? Or at least for people who are, because the person I was talking with is very uh, driven. So I said, well, <laughs> this is the this is a perfect match then, right? What are you looking for? Same with your clients, elite clients. Like I tell you, every elite client I worked with, and I worked with a lot of celebrity clients, what is happening there? Like I remember at the very, very beginning, and mind you, I started really working with them when I was 17 years old. So I was, I'm was i not new to it. Like the, I was surrounded by celebrity people and I sort of understood that they have real a, a lot of problems. And the problems that are there, I think the maybe biggest challenge with them was how do you bring them solution and they will not dismiss it because you are not, you don't have authority. You're not, you don't have enough presence, right? <laughs> and of course, when you're 17 years old, okay, it's very likely you're not going to look like you will have the answers, right? So for me, it was all about what kind of answers I'm really providing, right? I'm telling you, it's the same thing. What am I really talking about, right? What am I, what kind of solution I'm providing? My own personal energetic state, I think when you're younger, I think it's obviously, I think it's very easy maybe to be very um, enlightened and kind of uh, confident, right? Maybe because you're ignorant, because you haven't lived yet, you don't, you don't know pain yet. But once you lived your life, right, then it's a real mission to be enlightened and to be very, very strong and to be very, very confident. So people do treasure that. The, the, and the, you know they treasure not just like the the typical wisdom or even the um, uh, street smarts you know like okay this person has experience with this that's why they they would know the answer but people are looking for how did you live your life and how did you how are you still uh are so enlightened and how are you still so so let's say um What's the good word? I mean, positive is really what I want to say because I'm not talking about that kind of toxic positivities when you're just like ignorant on you fake. Or I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like you still have faith after everything that you've been through. You still have God, right? And <laughs> people do see that, and and I think that is something that you have to cultivate within yourself. You know. On, I've been on my own faith journey and I certainly and had gone through a crisis recently, my own personal, I would say, uh, existential identity crisis. It's fantastic because I had to rethink everything and I'm not taking anything for granted. I'm not taking my energy for granted. I'm not taking my uh, positivity, if you want, or my faith for granted because I know what it took, right, to get myself there again right uh, in next level at this point so so this is what people really are reading when they're seeing you right so when i'm talking about deeper topics bigger topics i'm talking about the kind of the con you know congruency those topics would have with your own personal life so that's what i would say look at yourself where are you currently and if you think so this is probably the mistake or maybe a, something you, you've been you hear, hearing from everyone. And it's a temptation, right? <laughs> it's very interesting when we pray, uh, we, we say, you know, forgive us our sins as we forgive them that sin against us. But lead us not into temptation and deliver us from the evil one. But it's very interesting, lead us not into temptation. That is like a, the temptation is always here, which is 
to do what you always done, to be what you always been, something proven and tested, something that is easy, right? Something that you, where you don't feel um, where you don't feel uh, you know like like you can be like, that you can fail. I mean that's the that's maybe what people are trying to avoid, right? That failure, feeling like you like an imposter, all of those things, right? Um, and all of those things are very emotional things, and um, they. So if you still thinking that that's what people want from you at that level, that they're looking for somebody who is who just tested it and knows it all. Uh, I mean, those times are over, guys. You can literally go to any chat GPT and find out answers for any kind of issues or problems out there. Like, you don't need to be more knowledgeable than anybody else. It's not about that. It's about what, what kind of person you are. Honestly, when I'm thinking um, about th that elite clientele that you desire to work with, it's about what had happened in your life and what did you reach what kind of um lows you went through and what kind of highs you reached and what and how did you do it right so how did you do it that's your program right that's something you can teach that's something you can um that's something that people will pay for but how they will recognize you is by looking at you talking about well very specific things guys i really highly recommend my course which is called how to create uh, what is it how to create sell in um market and sell uh i think it says five figure programs with integrity and ease whether it's five figure programs or six figure programs or seven figure programs honestly the point i'm making there is the same right it's the same because i'm showing you how to find your topic how to create like what comes into your methodology what is it right and it's not probably what you think it's not um everything that you ever learned from every coach you paid and then i'm just combining it all together why even worse i go to judge gpt and ask give me th you know five steps to the system like or whatever whatever it is or some kind of download you got there from the sky and you feel like that's something that's gonna really sell your stuff it's not that right so i highly recommend to get the course it's on my website schoolofinspiredlife.com just go and get it it's very very affordable 90 percent literally off so go get it and really create that program that would sell at that point right at that price point because it will, um, what, whoever done that pro program, whoever, you know, before they became my client. So some people get it on my program once they begin to work with me. And then they see that. That's the first thing they have to see. And other people just got the program first. And um, online course first. And they are like, oh my gosh, it just blows my mind. Why nobody ever told me that, right? Why? Because, and that's another question I had uh, discussing with somebody is why those coaching schools never tell you the, 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 the good stuff, right? Why are they encouraging you to have free sessions and endless relationships and conversations and networking and all of that stuff? Why are they doing it? Well, my answer is that because they don't want you find, to find out that their model, their business model is flawed, right? So in the, the coaching methodology they teach is probably not going to work so that's what's happening there right so um and i'm being very transparent because i've spoken to so many people and obviously people who come to me had been in all of those uh, fancy and not fancy all sorts of coaching schools they have all the degrees everything possible out there that they can have and they still can't sell those amazing programs that they want or have those amazing clients that they talk about right so, so I highly recommend get the course and get your first level of breakthrough, right? Because it will be a breakthrough when you understand, oh, that's what, well, that's really what I needed to do. That's what needed, uh, how I needed to create my process. So it's not just that you went through something in your life and now you're going to be just teaching that, right? 
because that might be too long, too painful, especially if you, if you know how you've done it, right? So, you know, if it took you 10 years to get there, that's not what your client's going to be paying for, right? So they want something way better than that. So in that program, in that course, I'm actually explaining specifically how to create methodology. But the answer is here. Once you are really, really good at your methodology, you are immediately have that confidence to talk to people. So when you're talking to people, you're not feeling like you're an imposter. You're not feeling like uh, that you have to fake your confidence or you have to fake your authenticity, which is crazy, right? Because being authentic means you're being true, right? Means you know what you're talking about, right? So, uh, but if you would, but if what you're talking about is not at the level the elite clientele is looking for, then that's why they are not coming. Okay, so within yourself, you need to be solving issues. And I'm talking issues and not those kind of issues that everybody sees, like this person is broken or this person is broke or this person is anxious or depressed. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the high level, sophisticated issues that people might, may have, nuanced issues, right? Uh, I heard it somewhere, well, heard it somewhere, I heard it from Tony Robbins, who said, uh, I was actually on his one of his events, and he was right there, like, talking with me, <laughs> with everybody, but I was right there in front of him, it was quite interesting uh, experience, and he was talking about two millimeter tweaks, is that when you're working at high level, it's not about changing your life, changing everything, you got to no, this is because you're working with very successful people, with high achievers most likely, right? The best clients, I'm telling you now, those are the best clients. So if you're working with them, this is not about some kind of radical changes. It's about two millimeter tweaks, but you wouldn't recognize that if you had not done it yourself, within yourself. If, you, if your knowledge or experience is not nuanced enough then what you're talking about is not nuanced enough right it's just the general stuff like like um you know you even if you're noticing how i'm talking about uh my topic right now right with you right answering this question where do i get high level clients right i could go talk about go on linkedin do some networking set up some podcasts, set some events, set some interviews, market research. I could talk about that, sure. But that's, I don't think that's nuanced enough. And it's not new. Like, I mean, actually, let me specifically break down to you, like what would invite a better clientele for me personally, right? If I'm just going to talk about technicalities on how to get those clients, right? Uh, which is tactics, right? Or even strategies. I even go into strategies that you have to have a brand. And then uh, in that brand, people will recognize you. Post, uh, Gary V said, post 30 times a day on every platform. It's a strategy, right? Tactic. Talk, um, you know, go and write this kind of email and, and uh, write this kind of message and, and comment, uh, you know, 10 times per day on each post. You see, okay, all right, so those are tactics, those are strategies. But now I want to talk about the biggest stuff because the biggest stuff is that whatever you do, you, if your strategies and your tactics worked and you got those people on the call with you and they are speaking with you right now, whatever your team had done or whether you done it yourself, if you've done it yourself, then you might sit with them on a call or you might not sit with them on a call because if you genuinely answered somebody else's questions or let's say on LinkedIn or you wrote uh, an inspiring post so it, if it was enlightening and deep and insightful enough then you will have the right clientele and if not then you're just going to get the wrong clientele, right? That's not the one you want, right? You wanted 
the high level clientele but it's gonna be more superficial so for me what it, does it look like for me it looks like somebody who's never tried for example to coach never failed as a coach never had those the the i call it the what is it the dark night of the soul when you really dipped and you really had to rethink yourself like what am i doing here like wh why am i trying so hard what why is it so important to me to to do my work for example with people like those kind of people so if they've not done any of this and they just came straight out of coaching school all hyped up and uh, entitled to those uh, high level fees by the way my clients whom i train on my certification never coached before and they sell the work you know they get the first clients at at least twenty thousand dollars immediately after they finish the certification right which is very fast so this is not about experience of how long how many clients you had and now you're allowed to have fees have high fees no you just have to understand who you're working with and you only need to understand what you're solving and like I said, all of that is going to be super, super nuanced if you want high level clientele, right? So this is why when I'm talking, I'm specifically making sure that I am repelling and I'm disattracting people I don't want to work with. I don't even want them on my call, like uh, even, you know, signing up on my calls because 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 I don't want to work with them because those are not high level clientele for me, right? So um so this is why I'm going in such depth. This is why I'm spending so much time. I actually did notice that. And how did I, okay, that's another question. Um, not a question, but how do you know? So let's say you implemented what I'm talking about. You did stretch yourself. You did the inner work that it takes to become you at this present moment. The one that is leaning into the edge of their own capacity to transform people transform themselves transform others right so let's say you did that and let's say now or for a while you had been talking about it online let's say or in your speeches or wherever you meet people wherever your potential clientele is right so let's say this is the topic of your conversation and that's the level very very nuanced right so now people started recognizing you so how do you know, are you doing the right thing? How can you test that? Or, or is it just the same as it was? And, uh, you know, and th there's no, th there's no kind of, there's no real up level, right? Because the fact that you, <laughs> this is something else I'm noticing, um, because there is, there had been for the past maybe, um, 10 years at least 10 years maybe less right maybe like eight years there had been this whole hype about branding right like the fancy photo shoots the, uh, you know i'm in europe look at me in paris look at me in uh, bali look at me on the beach like all of that stuff i mean the, the bali babes i don't know somebody told one of my clients had told me like I, i'm fed up with the Bali babes, the beach babes, coaches, you know, selling you some funnels, right? So I get it, right? So it's had been the vibe. It's had been that whole immaculate white websites with the feminine goddess energy. Like, I get it. Like, I've seen it uh, everywhere, right? And I'm thinking, you know, when I started working, like, very recently with uh, uh, celebrity clientele I had my own like literally black and white website I made it black and white so I wanted to separate myself from all of those you know those um, yogi sort of calm meditation sort of that kind of stuff I wanted to say no that's not me and so my website I created I'm, I'm an artist so I, of, of course I do have some Edge, but I didn't actually draw or paint anything but what I did I just picked up like black and white images um, they were drawings and uh, it was like 
speech bubbles i created it was kind of fun website that i created myself and before that i did have a very polished website that uh, i paid for somebody made it for me professionally right it was immaculate it was like teal gold uh you know call like oh this and that like had all the fancy blows and whistles and the clientele I got was exactly not the high level clientele. I did have 100 clients per year for two years from that website, but it was wrong. It was wrong. I made very tiny little money and I was overworked. And what I, and specifically what I was working on was not very interesting to me. I wanted to do much more interesting stuff myself, right? But I was stuck with this, those kind of problems that I was solving right and that's where and then i actually worked with a really really cool coach one-on-one -on -one. i don't know if you know the story i hired her for one hour <laughs> that's all i could afford i'm charging right now same amount actually for an hour or maybe even more so well actually more and um but at the time right i was already done my coaching certification i already have done business school i was right in the middle of that whole marketing business school when i hired that coach because i saw that i'm not getting results with 30 30 posts per day 30 warm leads warm letters like email email list like all that stuff right it was before funnels <laughs> right i've done funnels as well later on failed with that miserably but what i'm saying is that so I hired her in the middle of my program because I could not, I didn't want to work for nothing, right? I didn't want to hustle and have nothing. So I bit the bullet, hired her for this one hour. And the, and the way she looked at my website, she didn't tell me what to do. Comparing to me, who I, I do tell my clients what to do because I know, right? If it's the right problem we're solving. Uh, like, for example, business problem for coaches, right? Like getting clients. So I would tell you what needs to be done on your website and what needs to be said and, and what shouldn't be there, <laughs> which is much more important. Um, but she looked at my, that polished teal gold website and she just frowned and she's like, oh. And she said, you know, like, that's not like, she actually said, she said, you have to focus. And I was like, oh. And then she asked me another question. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because literally, she, she was like, Phew. I was like, oh my God, how, you know, I didn't think of that. And then uh, I basically learned how to do websites myself. And in a week, I did my own website. And that's it. And since the end, it had... I this had probably I think it's had two pages. It had the home page, very minimal information, and then it had a info like a letter. It's called disclosure and the video there, which was really fun because that's why I told people that I let my shadow to create my website. This was very interesting because I was working, you know, I love shadow work, so I was like, okay. And I introduced the concept of shadow and white shadow specifically. And I showed them what it could look like. Is when you let yourself truly be there, completely powerful <laughs> in your, uh, you know, in your speaking, in your, in your writing, like in everything, or in your coaching, which is that's what people really want, is can you be powerful with me? Because I need a powerful coach. I need somebody to open me up right watch my testimonials again what people say about like about my style of coaching it is that right you cracked me open you you just released something you freed me like okay that's exactly what i had to do also for me right but that was like now we're talking probably eight years ago nine ten years ago something like that when i did that first time um uh, so to, you, you want to separate yourself from all of that kind of fluff that is out there, right? Because there is a lot of fluff. And, and fluff, not in the sense that it's it's not good or it's not going to make any money. Oh, hi, Alexandra, right? It's You just want to separate yourself from... Um, uh, I would say from the level of uh, coaches that are working with very low-level clientele. 
because you want high level clientele so you want to be different right so all those actually alexander with you we talked about all those well at least that's how i perceive that the, those that kind of branding right that that it's a it's a lie that you believe that's what they're selling you that it's all about branding it's the fancy photo shoots in paris it's the you know how many people do that right uh it's it's about fancy fawns it's about gold uh you know gold and teal or gold and blue or whatever blah blah people say right that's gonna work for you to get the, the those high level clients and in reality that's not it in reality people ne actually my high level clientele never went to my website it doesn't matter what's on it like it doesn't matter that it's actually a beautiful website since i've learned that first time to re did do my website i'm only i'm doing my own websites now right because i love it because i love that work i love nuanced work and i think last time when i did um q a here i did show you i walked you through the i took off this video guys from this group because it it was too long <laughs> and i put it on youtube so you can find still how i'm walking you through my website and talking about the nuances there and i'm really doing it to show you that the, you know uh, i'm talking about the program that i have right now for you but i'm showing you that anything i ever do that is out there uh written or spoken is very intentional right I'm not just saying it. This is exactly what what you will get from me whenever you if you working with me, right? It's the same. And uh and I think that's what's very very important, that that congruency. So because if you are yourself very very sort of enlightened and you are very very deep and serious and a great coach, really really truly care for people and you really want to not, not just you want to because as somebody said right uh, you want to serve uh, you know serve like patronize pretty much people enlighten people it's not about that right but you really want to work at the very very high level be be that uh, uh, world-class coach right N not prancing around working for clubs getting that status but but actually doing the work maybe working with uh cases that are more serious like maybe you know like that's what i'm noticing that a lot of uh, those celebrity clients that we're talking about they came to me because they couldn't get help anywhere else that's all like they had worked with other celebrities and i'm not a celebrity right so but they worked with this and they worked with that and this and and you know at high level high level coaches they've been working with before but they couldn't get what they wanted right so when I remember that when I started, I actually started telling you the story that when I started working with them again in the recent years, one of the things that had happened with me, because I realized if I'm working with this very, very famous psychotherapist, for example, and she's, you know, I literally had two of her New York best-selling books in my office, right? That's how famous she was. Uh, like she is like one of those that everybody knows her methodology and everything and i know she's coming and she was referred so i had the books i'm like oh my gosh uh what am i what are we gonna talk about right and she i think i don't know how old she was but way older than me right so i was like okay i have to bring up my a game and what is my a game this is when you lean into your edge because you cannot be just a, another psychologist or psychotherapist or some kind of a coach with a smart goals or some methodologies or frameworks that you picked up somewhere else. You have to now lean into your own gift, your own talent and um, nuance, right? And which I did. And this is how I could help her. And this is why she continued working with me, right? So that's what's what had been happening because that's why i'm talking about this because it's been my experience right and if your experience is different it's like hey you got a lead clientele and you could get away with some superficial coaching frameworks they give you in a coaching school tell me about it and let's celebrate how lucky you got <laughs> but majority of the time you will see that people at that level they have 
spoiled. They're spoiled for attention. They're spoiled for, you know, to have the best of the best teams out there, the best of the best coaches they worked with. So you'd have to, you'd have to have something that, that they couldn't get anywhere else. And that is you. That's what I'm talking about. Again, coming back to you. And then within you, it is where did you grow recently, not 10 years ago, but recently. Because if you grew 10 years ago, the energy that you're bringing in right now is not, that's not the, at the edge of your limitations. It's just like a broken record, right? But if somebody is like consistently, constantly growing and thinking and is alive that's what i call alive that's what people want they can't get enough of that they're like i want to work like i want to have a piece of that and can imagine that somebody like that's going to focus their attention on you right and that's what you know that's uh you know i i told you about my marketing research that i'm doing market research that i'm doing and um a lot of people have told me that they want intimacy they want attention they want real human touch they they don't want those cookie cutter chat gpt programs right it's not no, not at that level i mean i don't know if on, on any level anybody wants it <laughs> really because anybody can have access to chat gpt right so all right so i hope i answered the question your assignment would be to go look at your marketing what are you putting out there and Imagine that it, it's not you. Imagine I'm looking at it and I'm going to be writing down. So what is she, she or he? What are you talking about in essence? What are you telling people? What are you teaching? If you're telling your story, what story are you telling? Ask yourself, is there a nuance that you are discussing that is high level nuance? It's only the people who's been trying to solve that problem for a long time, paid everybody, had teams to solve it, and they still couldn't solve it. That's, I'm talking about that kind of nuance. And now you talking about this. Do you have that in your programs? Do you have that in your, specifically in your marketing, right? Do you have that in those posts you're putting out there? So ask yourself, is there nuance? Or am I just generalizing all the time, right? And talking about same thing, same thing. <laughs> now, another thing, check if, which is probably, you're probably not doing that. Like majority of people don't do that because they are afraid of being vulnerable. Um, they are afraid of failure. They are afraid of criticism and rejection. All of us do. And uh, why artists, I think, cre will artists in a, in a wider, broader meaning, uh, such valuable uh, type of people in our society, it's because they have that healthy narcissism, that healthy ignorance of what would people say if I'm going to tell them about what's going on with me, right? They have that attribute of not caring to please people, right? They want to please God, if you want. Like, that's the conversation they're having. It's not with, let me be pleasing to you guys. Let me be likable to you. That's not the concern. And I'm not saying that if you're having conversation with God, you're not going to be suddenly likable, or you will suddenly become confrontational. I'm not saying that. You may, or you may not, depending on society, by the way, not even on you. But That kind of vulnerability that you can allow yourself, transparency that you can allow in yourself, realness that you can allow yourself in your communication with others, whether through writing or videos or what's not, that's the one that is typically inviting the highest level clientele. I'm telling you now, right? Because people are screening for that. Right? It's not just about working with anybody who can solve this. It's about you. right? And um, as we just had conversation earlier, actually, with Alexandra, right? And the question was there, like, 
oh no maybe it was uh, somebody right now with this po with this uh, message that i'm answering uh, it's like how do you find those people it's like okay i was writing the answer i actually gave tactics which is funny because i didn't talk about what we're we talking about here but then maybe i will give her this video because what i was mainly describing is tactics like okay referrals you know my own clients like uh, referring other people and so on and if you working with one elite client then they refer you other elite clients it's all behind the scenes it's like um you know because a lot of those uh, transformational gurus that i worked with they don't really want to know to tell anybody that they have a coach and they're working on some terrible issues that they have and typically hide from the public right so i get it right so it's like always like kind of behind the scenes right but i love that right i love that because i love working with serious problems that's all there is like i love that that's my specialty right if i'm not teaching business then i love to work with those as a life coach at the maybe with existential stuff right and if i'm teaching business then i love to work on methodologies i love to take my clients like stretch them get you there uh, i will be that coach that would create that recent transformation that way you can show up with an edge to people and attract whatever you from that edge whatever you want not um, whatever you want but the specific clientele who is looking for that right within you within the coach that they would pay any money for right anyways lots of love to you guys we'll, we'll talk next time approximately next week don't know what day it is today oh it's thursday so i'm typically kind of planning to do it every wednesday but we'll see how it goes right and like i said uh, i've done already two trainings here two q and a's um and uh, well actually three or four maybe even but i've taken down two but i they're not disappearing some actually one i completely gotten rid of because it's way too long for what I wanted to say. And the second one I put on uh, YouTube. So you can find it there. That's where I'm talking, uh, really walking you through my website. And you can go to schoolofinspiredlife.com and check my website yourself. But I'm showing you what every sentence, what every word pretty much on that page really means. Why am I talking about it? Because it is important. Because this is how I invite my clients into business programs, right? And my life coaching prog uh, um, my life coaching clients are not looking at my website. Like they never went into my website. I tell you that. But I do have uh, another website, lirakay.com, for private clients, right? But like I said, they none of them had ever looked at it <laughs> or my social media or anything like that. Like <laughs> it's just not how it happens, <laughs> guys. All right, sending you lots of love. And see you next time.